We're going to explore what the old way really means. The spirituality of our culture is dated back to early times. You might say ancient times. During those times when our ancestors could still do what the Creator taught them to do, if they did succeed in becoming one with their spirit that the Creator had given them when they were born, in unison, togetherness, when they did this, the Creator actually spoke to them. I do diagnosis with the use of the Spirit. A person receives that special gift when they're born. They receive it from the Creator. You can't hardly teach it. And when I do these various blessings for the Cherokee Nation, I tried to recapture the state of mind that I was in when these phenomenal things happened to me. I'm proud of being a spiritual person. Secondly, I'm proud to be a, a Cherokee. If they can learn, I would leave them for them to learn about their own spirit and how to use that spirit. We have a good chance giving back the Indian people what they have lost. That's what my ancestors meant when they said, answer these people that ask what you believe in you believe in the old way. In short, that is the best thing I can offer to any people. Give the hand of God, oh, don't ask. Can I get a yoga gun? I got your go heat. Do you know that he on the diggy dude? Do we got a guy got done? And leave us in the gaunt. Give in the gaunt, ski out to a gaunt, and laugh them. That's it. I really believe that art is a reflection of ourselves, what we are. And it's not just what you're seeing and what you're, what you're looking at, but it's what you're feeling that makes your art work. My name is Dorothy Tidwell Sullivan. I'm a Cherokee master artist. I've spent the last 30 years creating art about the Cherokee history and culture, legends and things, and have enjoyed doing that. <laughs> when I went to the museum at Tahlequah and I saw the first Trail of Tears art show, I told my husband, I said, well, that's what I have to do from now on that's what I have to do. And I said, I can honor my father and my family. And I can uh, use my love of history and the culture and everything. So that's what I did for a long time. My grandma was a Cherokee. And she used to hold me just like this and talk to me. And sing to me and it's pretty neat. The circle behind her is my memory circle. The memory circle is all the things that we have from our past and what we're doing now and what comes in the future.
I was named Cherokee Master Artist from the Five Civilized Tribes Museum at Red Earth. One year I was the honored one. I was shocked, but I loved it. It was wonderful. Every piece I do is an emotional thing. A lot of them, I see them in my mind before I start. And there's a reason for that, whatever that story is. Your artwork comes from within you. You look at what your subject is and you think about it. But the most important part is what you feel. And if you can get that in your art, then it, I think that's what you're wanting to do. My grandmother would say, that sounds like that creek, the water flowing there, when you hear them, you know. She said, it, it's, it's making that creek sound that the water makes, this. No, then I don't do Tesco. So, my grandmother, her name was uh, Nancy, Nancy Pettit. She's the one that uh, kind of got me into to this, these shakers here, turtle shell shakers. And then she wanted somebody in our family to to continue doing that, you know. I guess the way she taught me was she challenged me things, you know, like like sometimes the wood, you know. She said, I bet you can't bust up all that wood. I said, I bet you I can, you know. And that's how she got the work done, I guess, out of me, you know. She said, and there goes London Dungeon, you know, huh? I'll bet you I can make them. Yeah. It's the, only the girls and women that wear these turtle shell shakers, and they follow the lead guy who's leading and uh, keep the rhythm up while he's singing, you know. You know, ducks. I really believe that these little kids and my granddaughters and grandchildren to come, they'll be making this someday. Because uh, those little girls, they watch everything you do and say, so they'll be good. Turtle shell shackle makers. I'm glad they're learning, you know. I'm glad they, but they want to, you know. At least it won't die out. It won't die away, you know. Years to come, they'll still be dancing. My name is Tracy Rabbit, and I'm a full-time Cherokee artist. I'm Bill and Karen Rabbit's daughter. This is a studio where me and my dad worked for many years. He's no longer with us, but we continue to, uh, to do our thing here. After somebody's gone, art is forever. And that's how we learn about other cultures. Less than 1% of artists make their soul living at their art. It can be a little bit more difficult. It's not a regular paycheck. So we're always looking towards, towards the next show. And I've got three days sometimes at that show that I'm at to sell to pay the bills for a whole month. And it can be pretty intimidating and pretty scary. We are an all-encompass studio. It was something that me and dad had strived for for years uh, to be self-sufficient here. Just very, very proud of where that's headed and the doors that it's opening um, for our art and also being a, a made in the USA native product, it, it's a rarity.
I would actually say my first strong influence would, would have been Dana Tiger. And I, I admired Dana's work and the strength that she showed in her work. And then I liked the softness of my dad's work. And I feel that the women that I paint are a maybe a combination. Some stronger than others, some softer than others. I think you always have to reinvent yourself, whether it's in art or any career. You get asked the question, well, what's the best painting you have done? And, and I think in most artists' mind, it's always that next one that we're going to do. So when we're creating, you're sharing a little bit of your soul in every piece that you do.